previously on shelf versus allocated versus unicorn, we have two times the winner being the allocated bottle. What happens when we take it to 1792 distillery? Let's find out. I'm your drinking buddy. <sighs> All right, drinking buddies. So for today's shelf versus allocated versus unicorn, we have 1792 small batch. 1792 single barrel. Yes, this is a pick, but I mean, single barrel is going to be different from batch to batch anyway. And 1792 12 year. And you'll notice this bottle is kind of dusty. And why is that? Because this has become a total unicorn. I haven't, I've, this is the only bottle of it I have ever seen. And yeah, uh, it's impossible to find. Um, it's not landing in Arizona, at least. If you're seeing it in your area, please let me know in the comments. Mix these up. Let's find out if maybe the shelf or maybe the allocated can beat it. It's really good though. But so is this pick and 1792 small batch is one of the best bottles under 30 bucks. Ooh, this is like buttercream. Yeah, buttercream like vanilla frosting. Didn't expect that. Barrel char comes through, um, some wood comes through. Nice and sweet, bourbon vanilla. If I have to guess, I think that is the 12 year, just off the just off the first first sip. Wow, that buttercream thing is there again, like vanilla frosting. While well, I got you guys, do you guys like my new hairstyle, or am I just grabbing at straws here? Is this is this terrible? Look at back at my old videos and tell me if this is better or worse than what I was rocking before. Yeah, I'm getting more wood off the nose of this one, so maybe I was wrong about that initial guess. Pears and cinnamon. These are all a high rye mash bill, so maybe I'm getting a little bit of a rye spice thing going on. I think I prefer glass one as of right now. Wow. I guess I've just never noticed it before, but I got a trifecta here of that um, buttercream, vanilla frosting, like cake frosting smell. Trifecta of it. And a little bit of slight slight like like strawberry that one's got a cherry thing bourbon vanilla and a little bit of oak I believe that is noticeably better than the straight up really, really good. Um, I gotta go back to this one to find out. One, two, three. Oh. Single barrel, age 12 years, small batch. Single barrel. Small batch. Age 12 years. You know, it's funny when I got that like heavy oak note off the first rip of this, I should have known it was the 12 years, but I'm excited right now because the unicorn has been, the unicorn has been uh, taken down. Uh, this is the, the number three bottle here. This is really cool. Uh, let's, let's go over proofs real quick, just to throw those out there. 96.6, 98.6, and 93.7. Very weird proofs, but anyway, um, yeah. Our unicorn just got slaughtered. And now that I know it's that, I'm getting more of an oak thing. The second time I sipped it, I, I thought, nah, this this one's better. But 1792 uh, small batch is a really, really ridiculously underrated bottle. 
The only bottle from the entire 1792 line that I don't like is the Sweet Wheat. And I think they're just trying to get a young weeded bourbon out there and try to capitalize on the, the popularity of Weller and some of those other things. And it's just, it's not ready. It, it needs some time. In a couple of years, 1792 Sweet Wheat, if they let it age a little longer, it's gonna be phenomenal. But right now it's just too young. Um, but yeah. We are three for three on the allocated bottle beating the unicorn. We haven't touched Buffalo Trace yet, so that could change. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Drinking Buddies. Make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button and leave a comment down below if you think my hair looks stupid or if I look amazing or if you, you think it's just okay or um, you don't care about my hair, you think it's stupid that I'm asking and you only care about the whiskey. Uh, leave me any of those comments down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.